So my friends, I think it's fair to say that the worst part about playing with Nerf guns and Nerf darts is the cleanup after a match. But guys, did Nerf just offer a solution? The following CJ Nerf video is rated KTPA, kid tested, parent approved, and is intended for all audiences. The Nerf Dart Rover was designed by Jazzwares for Hasbro. This dart cleanup solution average retails for $29.99. I got mine at Target. Box claims that the bin in the back can hold 100 darts at a time. It comes in six pieces, unassembled, and is for indoor use only. <laughs> There you have it guys, assembly was simple, less than five minutes after you just kind of read the directions over once. Very simple to use, no tools are actually required, the unit actually requires no batteries, everything works based on the wheels, as they rotate, it rotates the teeth around to pick up the dart. Handle and wand itself actually has six different adjustment points, so simple, push the button in, slide the handle down to whatever level you need it to be at. The net here in the back is supposed to be able to hold a hundred darts before you'll have to empty it. So the only thing left to do now is to get it on the floor and test it on different surfaces. Very thin matte carpet, not very thick at all. Kind of noticing that the dart heads sometimes stick in if you don't get them exactly right. I mean, it's not working as well as I thought it might. See, look at that. Perfect example. See how the dart head stuck between the teeth? Um, that causes a problem when it tries to rotate in. So, it's definitely not as smooth as I like. Like right there, that worked pretty good. But depending on how you catch the darts, like right there is another good example. It kind of sticks in between, so it's not as smooth as I would like. Right, guys, let's check out hardwood floors and see if we have any better luck. way too many times for my liking. Um, not really working too well on hardwood floors. I mean, I'm going over these darts multiple times and they are not really getting picked up. I mean, you've seen how many times I've done it. I've gotten a few darts in there, but definitely not as easy as I would have thought. All right, now we're gonna move over to a very thick plush carpet. This is more of a shag carpet, so I expect this to be a little harder actually. Well, that actually worked a lot better on a thicker carpet. So I'm actually pleased on a shag carpet. Guys, finally, let's go out here to my sunroom, which is more of like a linoleum tile. Uh, let's see how it does on this. Again, you can see the problems when you try to run over multiple. Ugh, God, you can just feel the frustration. I notice if you go perfectly straight on the dart or, you know, parallel, it's, it, it picks up far easier. But you gotta basically line up each one to the side of the dart. Because if you start to... Okay, I think that's the secret. But see, it, that's the problem. See, if you get it wrong, it kind of almost crushes the dart a little bit. And that's not good. Right? But again, if you line it up parallel with the dart so it kind of scoops under it, you know, you get a much smoother retrieve. All right, let's try rival rounds with the uh, Dark Rover and see if we have any better luck. Rival rounds came.
came up fairly decent, but notice when I'm doing this, you can't have it kind of up like this in the upright position because these little blue things grip into whatever you're doing. So you have to be more on an angle, which means you're basically gonna be walking over sort of bent over. And then that compresses the net, which is actually not the most efficient in my mind. All right, let's finish up with mega darts and see how these work. We're gonna try to go parallel with each dart in the most efficient pickup. Nah, what are you gonna do? Well, there you go. Um, not as easy as I would like. Oh, my YouTube fam. I gotta tell you, I really, really, really wanted to like this product. I truly did. Guys, after the price tag of $29.99 and the performance on multiple surface levels, um, this product just left me honestly feeling more frustrated than anything. The fact that I really couldn't stand straight up, I had to kind of hunch over to do it. And once you do that, it kind of compresses the net. And depending on the dart type, it wasn't as smooth or efficient as I would have liked it to have been. Uh, rival rounds, I guess you could get by with it if you really needed a solution for that, but I have a better solution for that. So stay tuned, I'm gonna bring that to you in a minute. So overall, personally, I'm gonna return this, guys. It's, it's just, for me, the $30 isn't worth this product. While I applaud the effort that Nerf attempted here, I just think it could have been executed a little bit better. There are two options out there, guys, if you would like something to help you with your cleanup. One, hey guys, have a kid, right? You have kids, they can actually pick up the darts. Uh, in all honesty, in our house, we do help out. But uh, yes, my son does pick up a lot of the Nerf darts, and that is one of the perks of being a father. And two, guys, check out this product that Out of Darts brought to our attention last year. All right, guys, I think a more efficient way to pick up any kind of the rival rounds is with getting the Weasel Nut Gatherer. Check the description. I'll put a link to where you can get it on Amazon. But as you can see, I got to put basically zero effort into picking up with these. I don't have to bend over. It rolls extremely smooth and it picks up far more than 100 at a time. And honestly, within seconds, I am basically done. There's no bending over, no sticking the wheels. This is the one you want, guys, the weasel. It really works very well with rival rounds. Now, as far as darts go, it will work, but not nearly as efficient as it does with rival rounds. So in my personal humble opinion, the search for a true dart cleanup solution is still a little bit.